World Series 2023, nobody knows how to get Rangers superstar Corey Seager out. His MVP performance is proof of that. Phoenix when the Texas Rangers really needed a hit in World Series Game 1, Corey Seager pounced on a first pitch fastball and sent it screaming into the seats. When they really needed a hit their first in World Series Game 5, Seager laid off a changeup, battled through two curveballs and squibbed the third curveball off the end of the bat, through the infield's open left side. The least emphatic of Seager's 21 postseason hits nonetheless punctured Arizona Diamondbacks starter Zach Gollin's dominant no-hit bid in the seventh inning Wednesday. Soon enough, Seager was touching home plate with the game's first run. And soon after that, the Rangers were claiming the first World Series in franchise history, with Seager becoming the fourth player and second hitter to earn World Series MVP honors twice. It concluded a game, a series, a postseason, and a year in which Seager ascended to a new level in the batter's box. Not just a force, he is a contemporary terror, the rare hitter in the 2020s who seems to be ahead of the curve and the fastball and the slider and the changeup. I think the word attack is a good word to describe him, said Mitch Garver, the Rangers designated hitter who drove in that key first run in Wednesday's 5-0 victory. Because it's from pitch one he's trying to get you. And he can get you in many ways. Seeger batted .318 with six homers in the playoffs, following a regular season in which he posted a .327-.390-.623 line with 33 homers in only 119 games. By park-adjusted WRC+, he was the third-best hitter in baseball, behind likely MVPs Shahei Otani and Ronald Acuna Jr. Cut from the Cal Ripken Jr. cloth of shortstop, Seager has been a feared hitter since he arrived in the big leagues with the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2015. Yet the 2023 version of Seager that will be immortalized in World Series lore was a cut above even his past exploits. People around the game were taking note of his progression, and their takeaways help illustrate the impossibility of strategizing to get Seager out. Diamondbacks manager Tori Lovello, who joked that he sent a limo to take Seager away from the NL West rival Dodgers when the shortstop signed his $325 million deal with Texas, views the 29-year-old S. Peak as a product of selectivity. He always had the ability to impact a baseball game. He had light tower power. He could hit for average. He was very dynamic when he was standing up there three, four years ago, Lovelo said earlier in the World Series. But what I see right now is somebody that's gotten even better by being extremely selective, 